Hello, Helena. It's Emily McVeigh, Executive Director of the United Way of the Lewis and Clark area. We're here for this week's United Way Partner Spotlight with Catholic Social Services. Welcome. We've been a bit to getting you in the studio, but here we are. <laughs> New setup and everything. Hey, I love it. So, yeah, it looks great. great. New look. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thanks for sticking with us and getting here. Um, tell us how things are going at Catholic Social Services. Oh, well, things have been busy, to say the least. We have a whole lot of new things happening, but I tell you what, our uh, normal standby programs that we've been running for a number of years are doing great. You know, uh, most important, probably namely the one we're best known for is our adoption program. Uh, we've been busy, you know, having, getting babies adopted all over the state, which has been wonderful, both here in Helena and, of course, statewide, because we do service um, families all across the state when they're going to do placements. Um, we also do some disaster relief stuff, and we were able to help a lot of folks um, across the state who experienced flooding this past year. Um, so that's kept us, certainly kept us busy as well. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, our baby boutique, which is here in town, has been... Even though you don't like to see a lot of need, we're happy to be there, and it's been very busy in itself in its own right. And then you guys we, expanded that even a little we bit. We did yeah. expand it. It's <laughs> it's huge. It's huge now. It's in a full size classroom up there at the cathedral, and um, but it's that's really been hopping. Um, and then we have a new program we just recently launched, which is a mental health program aimed at helping folks. So it's it's been a, it's been a busy last year for us, and in particularly in the last six months, it's been really busy. So. <laughs> Uh, so tell us more about your mental health program that you got up and running. Oh yeah, of course. So the mental health program was originally, the original inception was, you know, we see, saw need after doing a lot of research both in Helena and in various communities around the state, we saw a need in, for mental health counseling. Just the availability, the wait list, it seems like everybody has a wait list. You know, there's certain folks who don't, but in general, we're looking at wait list a month, two months, three months long, right? Um, and obviously it's a huge priority. Mental health, at least it should be a huge priority for those um, if you don't view it that way, because it's, you know, it has so much to do with everyone's well-being on a day-to-day -day basis. Physical health, the way they interact with their jobs and with their families. So we wanted to address that and essentially add a service that we could step in and say, hey, we can offer this locally, but in addition to locally, we can offer this tele through telehealth across mm -hmm. the state as well. Um, so that, and that has been the primary thing that's been keeping me busy the past couple months because we were able to find a really good, wholesome provider. Um, his name's Philip Quinn. He came, he worked oh, at Intermountain Phil's for a great. number of years. Yep. yep, Phil's great. And we're very lucky to have had Phil come on and uh, join us as our first counselor. Um, and he's been seeing a lot of clients here from here in Helena, and so far um, we're up to 20 communities we've served in the first, let's see, we started in December, so was that four months? This is our fifth month. We've served clients in 20 communities across Montana so far. Um, with the majority, and not the majority, but the most from one community have come from Helena and East Helena, I guess even though we're separate communities technically, <laughs> we're all one big valley. Um, but other than that, you know, 20 communities statewide has been great. And in addition, another initiative of this mental health program is we are working right now on a mental health education and suicide prevention um, course that we're hoping to offer at some select schools and, and churches across Montana. We'll probably do one here in Helena um, and then probably offer a handful in some other areas across, across the state as well. That's great. Um, yeah, it's yeah. a big priority in Montana. As, mm -hmm. as you know, the government is, addressed, is trying to address it. Um, a lot of local agencies and clinics are trying to address it. And it's something we, we find, you know, at a unique position being a Catholic-based agency. Um, we're in a unique position to reach a, a specific clientele that we can help. In addition to just the general public, we can also reach a very specific portion of, of the state. Yeah, we... Yeah. Our, our suicide numbers are not getting better as much as we've tried all the outreach. We're just not improving those. So the more work we can do, the better. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. A lot of our work, unfortunately, tends to be based on being reactive instead of proactive when it comes to suicide prevention. Um, and we're hoping our, you know, education and teaching people about mental health and, you know, some of the... Uh, indicators of what might be coming with suicide in particularly. We're hoping we can help uh, help those statistics a little bit at least. Yeah. Yep. 
Well, on a little lighter note, tell us a little more about the baby boutique. You oh, we talk, yeah. it, it expanded. It's a it, bigger room. <laughs> it did. It is a very big room. Um, and of course, this is very happy because there's always little little ones running around. Um, but the baby boutique, yes, we used to be in the basement of the Cathedral of St. Helena. We moved it across the street into the cathedral offices into a room that is, I mean, it's basically a full-size classroom um, that used to be used to be used as a school classroom, I believe, or something of the sort there. Um, so it's huge. It's got multiple, multiple shelves for clothing that we're hanging. We're handing out diapers, of course, which is what we always do. Um, and even though the need has expanded, which we never like to see mm -hmm. um, in our area, we were uh, lucky enough to be awarded a couple grants in the past year to help support it, um, and particularly from the county and the city. Both supported us with the grant, which was really nice to help us buy um, some of these diapers we can hand out to families that have young children that need some help getting through that tough time, right? Maybe they're not bringing in enough in income or they just lost a job for the month and they're getting through the gap. You know, I use one good example as a gal who was pregnant, got laid off her job, yeah. needed to help getting through, a, getting through her pregnancy and the birth of her child in the first couple of weeks. We gave her some diapers and, and when she was ready, she went back to work, right? And it was just that gap where she really needed some help. Um, but we're on pace to do over 50,000 diapers this year out of just the boutique here in Helena. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, so it's a, it's a big lift, you know, because diapers always cost money, but like I said, that grant and then donations from various churches and individuals across the uh, city has been, have been a big help in making sure that we can continue to give these out because we do it for free. You know, there's no requirements. If you're in need, you can just come to the uh, boutique, which is open Tuesdays and Thursdays um, from 11 to 1, and it's just up at the Cathedral of St. Helena's offices. So just walk in, it's the first door on the left. Real easy to find, but it's always bright and colorful and you know, cause baby stuff is cute. Right. It's kind of the best. <laughs> so you can even just come and visit if you want to. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and diapers are expensive. So it's important to be able to help people out cause uh, we were talking about before the limited housing and the cost of housing. Mm -hmm. And that's a, a big thing people need help with getting through that, you know, at the end of the month when rent has eaten up a big portion of your income. I mean, it, Food it, and diapers it does. And medicine it, adds up. And, yeah. it adds up. I don't have any children of my own yet, but you know, when I went and asked the question, I asked one of my coworkers down the hall, I said, hey, how many diapers did your children go through when they were younger <laughs> per day? And he was telling me, well, it could so be as many. many as seven or eight or nine, depending on how they felt in one day. And I was just like, holy cow. <laughs> I can, yeah. I mean, when a box is 196 and it costs 30 bucks, 25, 30 bucks, I mean, you go through a box in a week and a half or so yeah. at that pace, and that adds up fast. It really and does. If you, you have know? a couple kids and they're both wearing diapers, <laughs> yeah, so many. We do cover, yeah, and that's one of the nice things. We cover the range from newborn to uh, all the way up to usually, I think our upper end sizes is 5 or 4T, 5T. I think that's the bigger size of pull-ups that we have. So there's a range of like zero to four or five years old is kind of the age we try to cover for for families that need that help with their children. Yeah, and unfortunately, kids potty train whenever they decide to potty train. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like you can push that any faster than it happens. So, yeah. That's the truth, unfortunately. <laughs> but we're real, really happy to be able to help. It's just been busy, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so you guys have an annual golf tournament. Is that happening again this year? You know, it is. It is. It's our 25th annual golf tournament. Oh, right. Yep, yep. it's scheduled for Friday, July 12th. Um, at Bill Roberts Golf Course. You know, last year we had 22 teams come out um, at the golf tournament. We have all sorts of prizes. We have prizes for the best teams, prizes for the teams that score the worst. And well, we I was even say have, you have a worst team because I do. can do that. We do. We actually have prizes <laughs> for the worst teams. I think last year we had top three, bottom three, and then we had the team that was perfectly in the middle won a prize. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. In addition, we do little fun games. Like last year we had jumbo marshmallows. We'd put on a tee and you would try to hit the jumbo marshmallow as far as you can, and whoever hit it the farthest got a prize. Um, so we do little games like that throughout the course as well, but that is our big fundraiser um, for the year, which is um, definitely, yeah, but we're doing it again, hoping for some good weather. We haven't got rained on the last two years. It's the middle of July, so we'll... Yeah, July's hot. So yep, keep fingers crossed that, that we don't get rained on again this year, so... Right. It's just after the symphony, it should be yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's it. It's usually we try to aim for the Friday after the 4th, because um, that seems when it works out for us and it works out for Bill Roberts and they're great to work with. So um, we're just kind of on that weekend every, or on that Friday every year, unless it's of course the fourth falls on a Friday. It's kind of weird, but anyway, July 12th, we'd love to have some teams come out. All so, right. yep. 
So uh, you have a new fundraiser coming up. Tell us about that. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. So yes, well, we're based out of Helena. We do offer services statewide. And in addition to our Helena fundraiser, we wanted to offer a fundraiser statewide um, to try to reach out everywhere since that's what we do with our services. And I'm very excited to announce, because this was a lot of work. It took me six months to get this figured out, but I'm very excited to share that we're going to have Montana's first ever statewide fishing tournament. Ooh. So there's fishing tournaments everywhere, right. right? But there's never been one that's been approved for every single fishing region in Montana, and there's seven of those. So we have 17 lakes we were approved for in all seven, across the seven fishing regions. Um, and it's basically, it's an online fishing tournament, so people will register. It's reasonable, adults are $40, youth are $20. Anyone with a fishing license, unless they're a youth that's eligible not to have a fishing license, is welcome to come and fish in the tournament. Um, the lake that we're included here in the valley is Hauser Reservoir. You can catch walleye and perch as a part of the tournament out there. Um, but basically you catch fish, measure it and take a picture and then you submit the photo. And we have prizes lined up for the biggest fish caught at every lake. We have prizes for the top 10 finishers. Um, and I'm still working on more prizes right now, but I'd, so I'm hoping to have some more. But it's going to be a lot of fun because, like I said, 17 lakes. I think I, the last math I did population-wise was 95% of Montanans don't have to drive more than 45 minutes to get to a lake. And here in Helena, we're even closer than 45 minutes, obviously, mm -hmm. since it's just across the valley. But it should be a lot of fun. Um, there's never been, a, never been a statewide fishing tournament in Montana, and this is, so this is the first. And it was a lot of work, but... We're hoping it'll be a good good fundraiser this first so year. So is there a specific date or a date range or? Ah, good point. That was a good <laughs> question. Um, June 1st through the 9th. Okay. Yep. So registrations are going to be due May 24th. You can just go to our website, um, which is cssmt.org. I think I think that'll probably be flashing on the screen. It is. Um, good. Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Um, and right when you go to that website, there's a link to go to the fishing tournament webpage where you can register and submit your photos and all those all those good things but yeah it's a nine days so two saturdays two sundays and then a full week between so there's a big range to fish in this tournament so you could fish on five of the lakes you could just fish on one of the lakes that would be totally your prerogative but it's a really really unique tournament that hasn't happened in montana before yeah. so looking forward to trying it and see how it goes that's great yeah yeah it's fun I don't, I don't like to fish, but fun for the rest of Montana, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so how can people learn more about Catholic Social Services, all of the great things you guys do, and the fundraisers that are coming up? Oh, absolutely. So there's a couple ways that you can learn about us. Um, the primary way is going to be by visiting our website, because that's where we upload, at least periodically upload um, our reach, you know, the stats about all well, the work that we're doing. And then we also provide updates on some of our stories. And that's just at cssmt.org. And then our Facebook page, we always try to have updates there about fundraisers, about the work we're doing, um, our annual newsletters. And that's just at facebook.com slash cssmt. So that's a great way to reach us. Um, if folks want to reach out to us about our services that we're offering or maybe to get a session scheduled with our counselor, um, if they're in need of that type of service, you can just call 406-442-4130. And then there'll be an option to either choose adoption if you want to learn about that or to choose mental health if you want to look at possibly scheduling a session with, with Phil. Because, you know, it's really a good thing. The first session we offer is always free to see if we're a good match. Um, and then after that, we look at doing private pay. Um, we also cover Montana Medicaid and we also accept insurance. So a lot of, lot of good work that we're trying to do and trying to cover as, a, as part of our services. Great. Yeah. Very exciting stuff. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah. The mental health program is very exciting, and telehealth is a really great benefit to Montana. Just excited to have that mm -hmm. as an option. Phil's great. So it's <laughs> Appreciate great. that. It's really great. <laughs> great to have him on board for you guys. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So, anything else we need to know about the programs before we sign off? Not particularly, got it just, covered. just that we're, we got it covered and we're, we're here to serve however we can. You know, that's, right. that's the important thing to us is we want to serve people and meet them where they are. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Good to see you again. Thanks, Helena. We'll see you again next week.